everyone. I'm Scott Jordan, welcoming you to Lincoln, Nebraska, to the Pinnacle Bank Arena for another exciting edition of Arena Series in 25. Tonight, I'm joined by Christina Moore and Freddie B. As we get started with the racing bracket, let's take a look in round one. Wild Side versus El Toro Loco, Soldier Fortune Black Ops against Grave Digger, Max D versus Hasi, and Raminator versus Terminal Velocity. The four winners advance to the semifinals. Then we go to the final round, and the winner takes the driver's seat in pursuit of the overall event championship by taking the first eight points of the event. Up first in round one, it's Elvis Linus and El Toro Loco, and he is up against Zach Garner in Wild Side. And let's see how this track unfolds. We are off and running in round one. Wildside hits the brakes. El Toro Loco goes tight, and it is even at the halfway point. But El Toro Loco knocks the turning box out of the chalk line. That is a DQ, and Zach Garner in Wildside advances. Next up in round one, Kristen Anderson and Gravedigger, and she goes up against Tony Oaks and Soldier Fortune Black Ops. These two have been battling for the series championship all season long. And now they're going to try to make it into the semifinal round. Here we go in round one. Tony Oaks around the turn. Kristen Anderson with a great corner. And it is Tony Oaks with the lead. Anderson now up on three wheels, up on two. And it is Tony Oaks, Soldier Fortune, Black Ops advancing to the semifinal round. Our next matchup is Brendan Russell and Max D. He steps in for Blake Ranger. And he goes up against Kurt Kramer in Hotsey. So let's see how the UNOH grad handles Max D here in round one. Around the turn goes Rassel. He's got a great corner. Hotsey doing it as well. It is Max D with the advantage. Deep on the corner is Max D. Hotsey up on two wheels, but it doesn't matter. Kurt Kramer gets the win and takes the spot in round two. John Zimmer Jr. Terminal Velocity pulling up to the line. His opponent is Mark Hall in Raminator. Our final matchup begins. It is Mark Hall around the corner. John Zimmer Jr. turning on the Jets, and he is slinging the truck around the track. Great final turn. And it is John Zimmer Jr. advancing to round two, which in this format is also the semifinal round. Let's take a look at the bracket. It'll be Wild Side against Soldier Fortune Black Ops and Hotsey against Terminal Velocity. The two winners advance to the final round here in Lincoln, Nebraska. And up first, it's Tony Oaks, Soldier Fortune Black Ops. A great win over Kristen Anderson. And he is up against Zach Garner in Wildside. Semifinals have begun. Zach Garner around the corner. Tony Oaks as well. And it's Soldier Fortune Black Ops with a slight lead. Final turn, Wildside picks it up. And Zach Garner will advance to the final round. Our final matchup here in the semifinals, it's John Zimmer Jr. in Terminal Velocity. Up against Kurt Kramer in Hotsey. Winner advances up to the pod to face Zach Garner in Wildside. And Terminal Velocity goes deep, chipping away at the track. And a big advantage now for John Zimmer Jr. again, slinging around the final turn. And it'll be Terminal Velocity advancing to the final round. Let's take a look at the bracket here. Wildside with victories over El Toro Loco and Soldier Fortune Black Ops. And Terminal Velocity getting through Raminator and Hotsey. So the two teammates for Overboard Motorsports will meet in the final round. John Zimmer Jr. having a great rookie season and Zach Garner having a great second year in Monster Jam. But only one will take victory lane and get on the pod for the first eight points of the night. Who's it gonna be? Zach Garner versus John Zimmer Jr. right now. Great first corner for John Zimmer Jr. Terminal Velocity picking it up as well. Final corner here and it is wild side. Taking the win, so Zach Garner showing experience does matter. And he takes the victory, so Zach Garner off to a great start tonight here in Lincoln, Nebraska. He gets the racing win. And for more from our winner, let's send it down to Christina Moore. Zach, congratulations. You just secured the first eight points of the night in the pursuit of the overall event championship. Your teammate, John Zimmer Jr., won racing earlier today, and now you have the crown. How does it feel? You know, it feels absolutely amazing. We normally always end up racing first or second round. It's always one of the fastest races of the night. So and he beat me by a tire tread earlier. And I don't know who's over there in one of those sections, but he was yelling at me, telling me, I got it. That one's for you, buddy. And now, coming up next, Zach, we have the Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge. So what can all of these amazing fans expect to see from you and Wildside? You, you want to know what, Lincoln? It all depends how crazy loud you guys get, how wild you guys get. You guys are going to see some trucks on sidewalls, front wheels, back wheels, maybe even on the roof. Let's hear it, Lincoln! 
Let's take a look at her BKT overall point standings after one. Zach Gardner gets eight. John Zipper Jr. with seven. Kirk Kramer, Tony Oaks with four. And Mark Hall, Elvis, Linus, Brendan Russell, and Kristen Anderson each with two. One competition down. Three more remains. And up next, it's the Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge. In this competition, each driver gets two attempts at their best maneuver on two wheels. Fans in attendance are judging based on creativity, skill, and execution. And here is Elvis Lina is an El Toro local. He's going to go all the way back across the pod, find a great angle, comes down on the ramp, gets a nice popper right into a nose wheel. He gets it back into a moonwalk, hangs it right up on the edge of that pod, and then back down. Perfect balance. Look at the crab walk as the rear wheels go in the opposite direction. Attempt number two comes off with a stoppy this time, right back up into a moonwalk. This time he sends it all the way back over the pod. He's got the chalk line to hit. He is right there with another stoppy on a dive and then edges it right back out. We'll see if he tries to bring it back as he's got the smoke coming out of the crazy bull. And he is going back slow and steady here, right to the edge of the other side of that pod. And now edging it just back and forth. Pure showmanship here right now from Elvis. Linus gets it back down. And a great maneuver as we take a look at the super glue. Glued to the action replay. 8.465 is now the score to beat in the Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge. Next up, Kristen Anderson in Gravedigger. The frustrating round one exit for Kristen as she lost to Tony Oaks. So two points for her as she tries to maintain a series championship lead. And she gets a reverse popper off the pod into a wheelie and then back down on all four BKT tires. Second attempt now for Kristen Anderson all the way across. Trying to get a stoppy here. Doesn't have the truck at a good angle. That's going to cost her. And 5.261 is the score. Brennan Russell and Max D going for a sky wheelie. Get some nice air, and he'll try again coming off the obstacle. There's a great look at the tire stack, and he goes up again. Nice angle of the truck. 7.392, not quite enough to take the lead. Mark Hall and Raminator off the log stack. He goes sideways with a whip. And now attempt number two here from Mark Hall off the tires. Another sky wheelie. 5.678 is the score. Zach Garter and Wildside are racing winner trying to double down here. Goes for a reverse stoppy into a wheelie combo. And then he gets a stoppy off the pod. So a triple combo move for Zach Garner. And he is making a statement here tonight in Lincoln, Nebraska. Now a moonwalk up to the edge of the pod. He's going to try to go back the other way now into a nose wheelie. Keeps it right still and then back and forth. What a credible display of control for the young driver out of Fortville, Indiana. And now into a bicycle, not a whole lot of room, but a great first attempt as we take a look at the super glue. Glued to the action replay and eights across the board. Your new leader is Zach Garner in Wildside. Now next, John Zimmer Jr. in terminal velocity. Trying to get a win here. He goes for a bicycle right past the tire stack. A J-hook bicycle, and he can't keep it. I lost my wording there as he lost his footing on the truck, but he cannot keep it on all four tires, and he goes down. Kirk Kramer in hot seat. Now he goes for a sky wheelie and gets up across the pot, brings it right back down. Second attempt here for Hotsey going for some more big air. Clears about half the pod, 5.228. And now Tony Oaks and Soldier Fortune Black Ops with a huge popper right into a nose wheel. He keeps it steady. What a great move that was for Tony Oaks. Second attempt going for another popper off the tire stack. More control this time as he's got the truck right into stoppy position. Take a look at those back wheels moving back and forth and again puts it right back down. So great control for Tony Oaks as we take a look at the Super Bowl glue to the action replay. 9.271 is the score. That's going to get it done. Your winner is Tony Oaks, and let's head back downstairs to Christina Moore. Tony, congratulations. I see the smile on your face right now. That was an absolutely incredible run. Talk us through 
that great clip two wheel skills challenge because that was absolutely incredible. You know, that might have looked awesome from the outside, but I'm still not satisfied on the inside. We got to get that thing honed in. That first time, you know, got a little out of control on me when I was up top. Uh, the second time, we had our sway bar adjusters driven in all the way on the left side. The whole truck was leaning left. I said, here we go. It's all or nothing right here. And you know what? It turned out great. And uh, thank you guys out there. You guys give me the high score. Lincoln, I love you guys. We had a lot of great luck here. Let's keep the ball rolling. And now coming up next, we have that donut competition. We did see earlier today some of our drivers had some issues on this track. It's really, really tacky. So how do you plan on coming back here and being on the winner's pod just a little bit later on in the event? I'm going to tell you right now, I have never met dirt so tacky that I could not do a donut on it. I got a few tricks up my sleeve when it comes to donuts. And that's hold the pedal to the metal till the sparks fly, baby. Lincoln, hold on to your butts, because it's about to get hot. So a very fired up Tony Oaks. Let's take a look at her BKT overall point standings. Zach Garner holding on to the lead with 15. John Zimmer Jr., Tony Oaks with 12. Elvis Linus with eight. And Brandon Russell with six, rounding out the top five. We are halfway through here in Lincoln. Two more competitions remain. And up next, it's a donut competition. Once again, fans in attendance will be scoring. And they're looking for momentum, number of revolutions and execution. And out first, Kirk Kramer in a hot seat, throwing one down. That tacky dirt looking like flat out mud here inside the Pinnacle Bank Arena. And he's got one going here. Kirk Kramer laying it down out first, 7.745. That is now the score to beat. Next out, Kristen Anderson, Grave Digger, going to try to find her footing here tonight in Lincoln. She starts out slow, turning the wheel right. She's going to go right over. So Kristen Anderson, the night continues. 5.182 is the score. Mark Hall and Raminator are going to try to find some luck here as he guides Raminator out to the center of the track. You see that circle? That's what the drivers are aiming for, that dirt circle already going down. And Raminator sliding all over the place right by Soldier Forge and Black Ops. And 7.007 .007 is the score. Brennan Rassel now in Max D. He's got two wheels going up, so a bit of a cyclone. That's not where you want to start it, and that's not how you want to end it. 5.432 is the score from Max D. Tony Oak, Soldier Fortune, Black Ops trying to get his second win here tonight. He's going to go to the side as well. Again, he talked about the tacky track. That's that mud surface right now, and the driver's having a lot of issues getting traction. He's going round and round. He's got it where he wants it right now. The truck's slinging that mud. And Tony Oaks laid it down here as well, trying to take the lead. 9.123, he gets it done. And the crowd all aboard the Soldier Fortune Black Ops train tonight. Zach Gardner in wild side after a racing win, trying to win his second competition. He's having issues as well. The pod in the way, he goes all over it. Trying to find a sweet spot here for that truck to throw the back end of it down into the ground. And now he's got it wild side. has got that front left wheel up on the ground. You want up, up the ground, you want to see that. 8.818 steering wheel off the truck. Not quite enough to take the lead. Elvis Line is an El Toro Loco. Been a quiet night for him so far as well. And he finds a nice empty spot on the track. A lot of room back there, but truck issues mounting for him. 7.900. And John Zimmer Jr. in terminal velocity going to try to take a win here. That door is wide open, giving the fans a great look inside the cab of terminal velocity. Right in the center, rolls it right out on that floor. You see the dirt not really there. That's what the drivers need to get traction here on this field. And 9.051, so close, not quite there. Let's send it down to Freddie B. Tony, you pulled out another victory. We are going into freestyle, very tight. Talk about what you saw in that donut. We had a couple of flip overs. It's very tough out there. Talk about what you saw in donuts. You know, I'm going to tell you what, every single truck out here, except for John Zimmer Jr. in that terminal velocity right there, struggle to get a good donut here. But you know what I told you guys from the get go? I have not met some dirt that I have not been able to do a donut on. I'm not about to give up. You saw we get up on two wheels. A lot of guys, Wild Side, got up on two wheels, was able to keep his donut in. But John Zimmer Jr., great donut, buddy. Got to give it to you, man. But hey, we'll take it. Y'all saw it. We going into freestyle. It's tight between you, John Zimmer, Zach Garner. It's only like a couple of points separate all of you from you three. Going into freestyle, each trick, each second of freestyle is so important. 
And if you can pull out a win, you could possibly pull out a victory here and prevent John Zimmer Jr. from go having a three-peat from last week, earlier today, and today. What's your mindset going into freestyle? I'll tell you, my mindset is I'm not here really for an event win. I'm proud of these two kids right here, John Zimmer Jr. Man, if he comes out on top, Zach, if he comes out on top, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to tell you what I'm aiming for. I'm aiming for a series championship, baby. And as long as we come on top of Gravedigger, the more points we gain on Gravedigger, the closer we get to that series championship and the closer we get to the world finals in Orlando in May. Y'all heard it right here. It's getting real. It's getting serious, Lincoln. Hopefully, you got your big boy pants on, Lincoln, because Tony is going to bring it into freestyle one more time. Tony Oaks driving Soldier Fortune Black Ops. Thank you, Freddie. So Tony Oaks put together a great night here, but Zach Garter still with the lead after three. 21 points for Zach Garter, 20 for Tony Oaks, 19 for John Zimmer Jr., and Elvis Linus with 13. They're the only four with the shot at the event championship as we are three competitions in and one remains, and it is freestyle. And let's take a look here as Hotsey comes out on the track. 15 seconds needed to qualify for a score. Drivers want to use all obstacles on the pod. They want to be creative, throw in some technical moves and combinations. And once again, fans here in Lincoln will be scoring and will help decide our winner. Let's get back to the track here as Kirk Kramer trying to put one together. Goes up soft onto the pod. Gets a nice two-wheel smooth wheelie. And now trying for some bigger air. Gets the end over end front and comes down on the pod. And then again, off to the right side. So using more of the right side of that 12,000 pound truck. Again, try to come over, get some big air, just using those obstacles back and forth. And now center lane onto the ramp, goes off to the left, comes right back down. There's a big air, sky wheelie off the tire stack for Kirk Kramer. Whips the truck around, faces it again, this time on the other side, goes off, now comes up a little short, but is able to get the save. Take a look at the super glue, glue to the action replay. Kirk Kramer and Hasi starting off freestyle with the 6.398. Out next, his teammate and Hall Brothers racing Mark Hall in Raminator, and he's gonna go all the way across to the other side of the track. Through three competitions, you saw how tacky this track was in donuts. Now imagine all eight trucks doing donuts on the sides. That's gonna leave little room for error when it comes to gaining traction on these 66 inch BKT tires. And now Mark Hall slinging one. There's a great donut. So he's obviously able to get the traction there on that side of the track. Now he whips Raminator back around to the other side. Comes up with a sky wheelie down over the tire stack. Room for more, time for more. Mark Hall out of Champaign, Illinois, has been around for a long time, seen it all, done it all. One of the all-time greats in Monster Jam history, not just Monster Jam, but Monster Truck history in general. And now Raminator on two wheels, kind of a cyclone start to that donut. Ends up finding a soft base, now the truck's smoking a little bit. Comes around deep over the tire stack, trying for a sky wheelie. Goes too far to the side. As we take a look at the super glue, glued to the action replay. 7.272, that is enough for Mark Hall to take the lead. And Raminator now has the score to beat. Here comes one of the newest drivers in the field, Brendan Rassel in Max D. Brendan studied at the University of Northwestern Ohio, and they don't teach it that there. That is a textbook. It's vertical sky wheelie for Brendan. A very accomplished technician has been around Monster Jam for quite a few years with UNOH. Now has the opportunity here to turn some heads and get himself some seat time. But unfortunately, his run will come to an end. 5.103 after the great sky wheelie. Kristen Anderson in Gravedigger now out next. Comes right over that single log side of the obstacle pod and right back down across the double log stack. Now she comes at it again. She has had a frustrating night, but she still holds the series points lead. Trying to become the first female series champion in Monster Jam history. She's had a phenomenal year. Everybody gets an off night. She can salvage it with a freestyle win. Gravedigger coming across, break check, beautiful jump. 
And now again on the other side, tire stack lands it flat on all four tires. No bounce. That's what you need to keep the momentum. Now she's just climbing over the track. A lot of room here lining up for the single log. Get some nice air and over and fall short on the landing. And that'll do it for Grave Digger. Take a look at the super glue glued to the action replay. 7.805. Your new leader is Kristen Anderson and Grave Digger. Now Tony Oaks and Soldier Fortune Black Ops try to take the event championship here. Trailing Zach Garner's wild side by one point. But he is on fire winning the last two competitions. Goes off to the side. Little cross-threading action over the single log. Nice landing, a little hard to the left, but right back down, climbing out over the pot, turns the truck around, and into a stop. He tried for a moonwalk, didn't get it. There's another stoppy there for Tony Oaks. He is so technical, he does this all the time in his freestyle runs. And that's what the fans want to see now, over the tire stack, big time sky wheelie. A lot of room here for Soldier Fortune Black Ops over the log stack right up onto the track. Tried for a wheelie combo and now into another stoppy. So Tony Oaks, literally no pun intended, pulling out all the stops tonight to take the event championship. Here's the super glue, glue to the action replay. And your new leader with a 9.120 is Tony Oaks and Soldier Fortune Black Ops. Now next, John Zimmer Jr. in terminal velocity. Coming right out of the stall with a vengeance, goes all the way around the track, tries to find the angle he likes, gets that momentum into a sky wheelie with a brake check. Something going on with that truck that will cut the run short. No score for terminal velocity, so a tough break for John Zimmer Jr. And now Zach Garner in wild side needs to beat Tony Oaks and needs to beat that score. He's got to take the freestyle win here tonight to win the event championship. Comes up short, lands right on the back of the truck, still able to save it. Comes into this competition with a one-point lead, but the current freestyle leader is Tony Oaks. Now Wildside all over the track. Great jump, nice angle of the truck. Gets the little brake check in to show off. And now whips Wildside back around, right up over the pod. More big air, nearly clears it. Comes down in a nose wheelie position. Up over the single log, again, nearly clears the track. There's a stoppy, but the back end not high enough to complete it. And time is up for Wildside as we await the score. Take a look at the super glue, glued to the action replay. 8.733 for Zach Garner. That is not enough to beat out Tony Oaks. So a great night, though, for Wildside. Nonetheless, Elvis Linus, El Toro Loco, going to try to take a freestyle win. Goes right up over the side of that pod. And now big air. He comes right down hard on the nose into a wheelie. Somehow pulls out the save. That could be the save of the night. Great truck awareness there. It was right where he was after the save. Whips it back around right over the single log. And now again coming out, throwing caution to the wind. Smoke everywhere, and the truck will end up on the roof. El Toro Loco done on top of that pod. Take a look at the super glue. Glue to the action replay. But hey, that is enough to get it done. 9.197 means Elvis Linus takes a freestyle win as we take a look at our final BKT overall point standings. Tony Oaks and Zach Garner tied at the top of 27. Freestyle score breaks the tie. That means our overall event champion tonight is Soldier Fortune Black Ops' Tony Oaks. And for more on this, let's get downstairs on the track with Freddie B. Tony, you said what you said going into freestyle. You were not worried about winning today. You were worried about the overall event championship, and you have made up a lot of ground on Kristen today. I, I don't quite know her total score, but I know you made you probably gained about 20 points on her. What's your mindset right now? That's exactly what we needed. Coming into this event, I believe we were down by 45 points off the lead for the series championship behind Gravedigger. I think we made somewhere around 20 points right here. Hey, that cut the lead in half for her. You know, I gotta thank John right here, my crew chief. He put a brand new fuel pump, you know, nice special fuel pump. 
in that in that monster truck before we started this event we juiced us back up 100 horsepower we the motor is really old in that thing it's starting to lag so i'm so thankful for you john thank you very much it's so important that you have a good crew chief and that teamwork makes the dream work and i just got worth 17 points you just knocked off that total so you're inching closer she could have clinched this weekend not anymore it's going to go down to the last weekend next weekend so Tell me your thoughts not now, because it's getting so tight. I know that pressure got to be getting to you. Man, I'll tell you what. All the pressure's cool, fun and games, but I got to tell you what Soldier Fortune Black Ops is all about. And that's all about our great nation's military out there. Lincoln, give it up for the U.S. military. I love you guys. Thank you, Freddie. So a great night for Tony Oaks and Social Fortune Black Ops. He takes the event championship, but Kristen Anderson hanging on to the series points lead. Make sure you follow us on social media at Monster Jam, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and YouTube. Head to MonsterJam.com for tickets, results, and more from Arena Series in 25. For my co-hosts, Freddie B. and Christina Moore, thank you for a great night in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm Scott Jordan. We'll see you right here next time.